Hey guys, what's going on today? I got a video talking about football. My team is the Philadelphia Eagles and I'm going to be talking about them today because some shit just went down. I was taking a shit a few minutes ago and I got a notification on my phone that a trade had occurred between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Minnesota Vikings. Eagles have traded quarterback Sam Bradford to the Minnesota Vikings. Now, at first I was super pissed at this and I still kind of am. I knew that Minnesota was going to be coming because Teddy Bridgewater, I think he tore his ACL, broke his ankle. The Vikings need a quarterback. And I had a feeling that they were going to be coming to Philadelphia because we got Chase Daniels, we got uh, Bethel fucking Thompson, Carson Wentz, Sam Bradford. We have a lot of fucking quarterbacks. And Chase Daniels is regarded as one of the better uh, backup quarterbacks in the league. So I had a feeling they'd be coming after him, but not. I never would have guessed that they would have traded away Sam Bradford. All of the preseason, all of the offseason, Doug Peterson has been saying that Sam Bradford will be the starter. He's going to be the guy, and you know, just a week before the season starts, he's not the guy anymore. He's going to another fucking team. Now, I'm kind of upset, but I'm kind of not because... The Minnesota Vikings did offer a pretty good deal. Uh, they offered their first round pick in 2017 and their fourth round pick in the 2018 draft. And that is pretty valuable because the Eagles gave up several picks going for Carson Wentz. Now, I'm a little upset because obviously Sam Bradford, he performed phenomenally in the preseason and he did very well towards the end of the season last year. And I really wanted to see more of him as an Eagle. I thought he would have been a really good fit. But I'm not really upset because I'm hoping we'll play Carson Wentz more. I'm going to be really pissed if Chase Daniels is the starter all season. Because he flat out sucks dick. And uh, he really can't connect to the receivers very well. I mean we only have a few like a handful of actual receivers, our receivers really fucking suck. I mean, we got Dorio Green Beckham, who's really good in the in the red zone. He's a fade freak. That's his nickname. And then we got Jordan Matthews, who's actually really good in the slot. And then our third receiver, we got nobody. We got Josh Huff, Nelson Aguilar, and Paul Turner. I actually like Paul Turner, but all we've seen from him is preseason. I want to see some more. And I don't know if he's going to beat Josh Huff and Nelson Aguilar. They, they're they more experienced, but I don't know. I think they're both shit. I'd rather see Paul Turner play. So I don't know. This is pretty valuable because, like I said, we gave up a lot of our picks to get Carson Wentz, and now we got some of those back, and we can use these picks to slowly rebuild our team. But I, I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, our team was probably gonna suck this year i mean i fully expected us to suck but now i think it's gonna be 10 times worse because we have no quarterback we're either gonna play our shitty backup or we're gonna play a rookie and either way i'm not super happy i mean if carson wentz plays really well you know i'm gonna be happy if chase daniel plays well i mean I don't know. I, I feel like I'm already fixed on my feelings on Chase Daniel. I think he sucks, but we'll have to wait and see how the season plays out. But let me know what you guys think of this. Do you guys like the trade? Do you think it's a bad trade? Do you even care if I make football videos or not? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.